Hi everyone, welcome to these Gabby's Dolls and Toys. <laughs> I am surrounded by some of the cutest Cabbage Patch Kids that have ever been made. I'm talking about the Coleco Passy Face Kids. Coleco actually had two different um, Passy Face head molds, number four and number six, and um, I have a little bit of, of each in my collection and I want to share them with you guys today. These are seriously some of the best kids ever made and um, I, I think that they deserve a, at least one video dedicated just to them. <music> Welcome back you guys. So first we're going to talk about the number four head mold. The number four head mold actually came out with the, the first set of Cabbage Patch Kids in 1983. Um, there were four head molds that first year, one through four. Um, and I remember, you know, I was a kid back then, but I remember the number four being a very popular one. Everybody wanted the Cabbage Patch Kid with the pacifier because look at them. They're absolutely adorable. So only one of these kids here is in 1983, though. Um, you know, they, they, they made them in 1983 for the first time, but they kept producing the head molds, you know, um, even years later. They were still at number fours running around out there. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> you know what I mean. But um, can you guys guess which one of these kids is, is from 1983? Let me see. How well you know your cabbie. Your, your cabbie trivia. Ready? This guy right here. And the reason that I, I asked you guys if, if you knew, if you could figure out, is because in... So he's a fuzzy. He's a brown hair, blue eyed, fuzzy boy. And um, to have an authentic fuzzy boy from Coleco, you know that he was produced in 1983 because that was the only year that Coleco produced fuzzy boys. They did have shag boys after that, which is a little similar, but different. Like he's, he is an authentic fuzzy. He is from 1983. Now, the rest of these kids are, you know, um, really everyone here is from 1985 and 1986. So, we'll start with this girl right here. She is very special. Um, she is a double braid AA number four girl. Um, you do not see her very often. She's, she is stunning. I mean, even her outfit, all the way down to her shoes. She's just mint. She's amazing. I've had her with me for quite a while. I want to say about three years. And, um, yeah, she's very, very special. I love her so much. Um, you, you don't. You don't see girls like her very often, especially not in this good condition. And she is in 1986. This little guy right here, he's in 1985. Um, some people think that he's a preemie. He's not a preemie. He's a baldy. He's a full-size uh, cabbie, and he, he's, he's a baldy. Number four, um, he's wearing a pretty common outfit. The outfit actually comes with a hat. Um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> but um, he's very special. All of these kids are very special to me. I love my Passy Base kids. I don't have a ton of them by Coleco. Um, as you can see, I'm showing you everybody, but I, I just, I adore them. And I'm always on the lookout for them because they're, they're not that easy to find. Um, not at a reasonable price anyways. And then we have this guy over here. So he's an Auburn Loop boy with brown eyes and, um, I, I love him. He's beautiful. His complexion, his blushing. He's in, all these kids are in really good shape. So, yeah, I've had him for, I want to say, about a year now. He's a special little guy. So sweet. And lastly, I'm going to show you my, I'm going to put these guys down for a second. I'm going to show you my beautiful AA number four creamy. 
So she's from she's from 1985. She's in mint condition, as you can see in the box. I actually did a video on her um, a while back. If you guys want to look for that in my library, she's absolutely stunning. Um, I keep her in the box because you you don't come by cavies like this very often and in pristine condition in such a nice box and you know who knows what the future brings i might take her out one day but she's just she's an absolute gem to me she's just very very special and i don't want anything happening to her i do have other preemies in my collection but she's just mint absolutely gorgeous so in 1985 a uh, third edition of Cabbage Patch Kids were released so in 1984 I meant to tell you guys this already in 1984 the second edition was the preemie edition and the head molds were one three and four there were actually a prototypes I believe for two and five but they never made it to production so the preemies were only one three and four and um, I actually have all of those head molds in, in my collection of preemies. But then in 1985, they released an, an additional, you know, series of, of head molds. And one of those head molds was another passy face. And that was the number six, this one right here. You guys may know this girl because this is Marina. She is... <laughs> She's a little sassy thing. I love her so much. This doll has so much personality, I swear. She is just, oh, I love her so much. She's been in other videos. That's what I'm saying. You guys have probably seen her before. Her name is Marina. She is my Lemon Loop Blue-Eyed Number 6 <laughs> little diva. She's a little diva. And she's even wearing a diva outfit. She's wearing the uh, very sought-after um aerobics outfit and it's it's the pink one so it's pretty yeah she, i got her from my friend michelle and she kind of reminds me of michelle <laughs> she's just got so much personality oh i love this baby so much she is everything and then this girl right here is special too because they're all special right <laughs> You see the double braid round here, number six. Um, her outfit is, you know, it's pretty common, but but she's not common. She's um the number six, they're they're a little uh harder to find, I think, than number four. So but I love all the passy face, but number number six are they're they're pretty special, I would say. If you are a cabbage patch collector there is no way that you do not appreciate the cuteness of a passy face kid um especially the caligo kids because they did make you know passy face head molds in in with the other companies hasbro play alone jack specific you know because they did um replicas you know of the vintage kids and things like that and i have all of those in my collection but there's nothing like the original coleco passy face they're, they're they're just amazing kids i remember the craze back then and you know everyone wanted a kid with with a as we say a bobo in their mouth <laughs> <laughs> a passy in their mouth they're just amazing kids it gives them so much personality i love you know like <laughs> marina here is holding hers <laughs> oh i just love it they're so fun they're fun and thank you guys so much you know for watching this video because i love when i get to go into my collection i tell you guys this all the time especially when i get to go way back to the coleco days because it reminds me of my childhood it brings me back to when i was a kid and when i first fell in love with these kids and and that's really awesome it's a nice feeling it really is thank you guys so much for watching um i hope that you enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed making it for you i will see you guys in the next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye